Hello, this video is going to go over how to download video files from GWCMS. Now for starters, I'm going to create a new folder here on my desktop where I'm going to download the video files from the software. I'll just throw it up there. You can set this in your video folder or your snapshot folder. Uh, wherever you need a, a NAS drive, what, whatever you need to uh, use to store your video files. So going back into the software, we're going to go over to configuration first. Now in here, this is where you're going to set the path for your downloads. So since I set it on the desktop, I'm going to click here and set that folder. And I'll do the same thing for the snapshots as well. And then all you have to do is click save. And so now any downloads you do from the software will go to that location. Then I'm going to go over here to playback. And I've already looked for uh, some files. And you can see those down over here on the left hand side. So let's say, for instance, I found some event that I needed to download. And pretend, for instance, you have a car out here and someone's stealing it or someone's jumping over the wall or someone's breaking a window, whatever you may need. Um, but right here, you can identify what file is playing by the little blue arrow. So the next thing you'll do is select any number of files you need that you need to download. So let's just say I need those three. And I'm going to click the download button here on the bottom. Oops, sorry, you got to stop the playback first. Then click download. Now right here is going to choose the file type. I always recommend going with AVI because DAV is only playable by very specialized software um, such as Survey or GWCMS. AVI is more user friendly and can play on a lot more things. Once you click OK, it's going to start downloading on its own. And if you click the little download icon up here, it's going to show you the progress. Now this will take a while, especially if you are remote. You can do this remotely, but it will be significantly slower. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'm going to be speeding this up. So that'll go uh, much faster. Okay, and once that's complete, you can go ahead and check your folder over here, and you'll see that it created its own subfolders. And here are the three video files I downloaded. Um, depending on the compression that you use, either H.264 or H.265, some media players may not be able to handle the H.265 format. So you see the orange cone here. Uh, this is uh, called VLC and Media Player, which is a third-party software that I typically recommend to people uh, because it's very good at dealing with H.265 file types. So if I double-click on it, it should pop up, and you see it's playing. And due to the fact that it's a 4K video, it became extremely large on my screen. As you can see here, it is playing with no issues. Now, if I were to go and try and play it in Windows Media Player, it does not let you. And that is basically due to the fact that it is in H.265 and not H.264. So that is why I recommend this player here. And that is all there is to downloading video from GWCMS.